Rick Lagina, and metal detection expert Gary Drayton arrive at Lot 4 to continue searching for a feature that, if found, could corroborate one of the most incredible theories ever presented about the Oak Island treasure. It's only a matter of time before we pull up some coins out of this area. So where it points at the hole under the hatch, as the map depicts it, it looks like it's a wooded area. It looks like it's over on lot four. Yes, it does. Two weeks ago, mechanical engineer Matt Sant presented the team with his research on a reported 14th century map that was first shown to Rick, Marty, and the team back in 2016 by the late author and historian Zena Halpern. It was Zena's belief that the map had been created by members of the Knights Templar and noted secret locations around the island, written in French, that represented key clues to finding a vast and potentially priceless treasure. One of these sites was simply labeled as the hole under the hatch. Back by the main road on the western side, just up there on lot four. Yeah, the pink and then those red dots, do you see that? Over the past two weeks, the team has not only marked a large buried metallic anomaly using a magnetometer, but also found several intriguing artifacts, including a leather strap and a gold-plated button. I'll try over here. OK. However, due to the new island-wide restrictions imposed by the Department of Community yeah. Culture and Heritage, they will need to recover more compelling evidence before they can obtain a permit to conduct a large excavation in the area. Well, that sounds good, mate. This little baby wants to be rescued, just a... Recheck the old. It got stronger. I like the sound of this. Let's see if I can pinpoint it. There it is. Wow. Look at that. Big old iron spike. That is heavy as well. That's an oldie. I mean, this is chunky iron. Just up from the shoreline like this, I have no idea the use of it. So. Dr. Brousseau, XRF, get it clean, get it conserved, and see what it says. Yeah, and get Cam and Leg to have a gander at it as well. Yeah. I have a special place for Zena Halpern and her research, but we are still trying to understand the map. All right, mate, just keep gridding. To prove the significance of it, we've got to find and hold evidence in our hand that these things exist, well and truly exist. Two-way repeatable signal. That's a little screamer. Just there, mate. My ah, lucky digger's on fire. <laughs> Hopefully, it's still in the old mate. It is. Come on, me little beauty. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is... What that kind of like tool? A, yeah, is it an old adze? Could be. I mean, we find all that wood with the, the bark, the old timbers. That's what it looks like to me, maybe a, yep. an adze. A possible adze? discovered on lot four, dating back to the times of ancient Egypt. An adze is a type of cutting tool featuring a sharp edge that runs perpendicular to its handle and was designed for use in shipbuilding or detailed woodwork on structures. If this tool proves to be an adze, as Gary believes, could it be connected to some kind of structure that was built long ago in this area? If. Some activity on Lot 4 was done long ago. They would need to shape timbers in order to do cribbing of the underground works. I, I don't know a whole lot about an adze, you know, but I know it's used for shaping wood. That's interesting. 
I love these interesting finds. And we're getting more and more interesting finds on lot four. But it's that a curious is really find. Cool. Yeah. It's a very curious find. This and that nice old piece of iron, that spike, whatever it is, can easily be dated. They're both interesting enough to warrant that. Yeah, for sure. For sure, mate. Uh, I think we have ended the day on an eye with this note. I agree.